Uh, the uh, Ama Ama that's the price. Ama, Ama means money. Okay. Yeah. In like okay. Ethiopian Ethiopian money is like a, Ama Ama means money. Okay. Yeah. Prince money. And where yeah. are you from? I'm from the Ivory Coast. The Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast for the <laughs> for the, the Côte d'Ivoire. Yeah. What yeah, is it? a carnivore? Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire, yeah, man. Côte French. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I like that. I yeah. like. I gotta get my accents right, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gonna get you gonna get a lot of trouble. Don't do it. Hey, man. I'm I to say get, you get trouble. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm gonna get trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm gonna get trouble. <laughs> hey, but yeah. okay. So I love the name, man. You know what I'm saying? My name is King Darius Stone. You know what I'm saying? I, I started out with as king when I was a child. When I was a baby, my mama gave me that Wouldn't name. Wouldn't that make you a prince? Wrong. No, I was born a king. <laughs> I was born, born a Straight king. up. Yeah, you know, you just up. jump on the <laughs> prince and you just, just keep yeah, yo, yo, I, 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 I killed the prince early, man, so I could be the king <laughs> now. You feel me? But no... But I love the name, man, Prince of my Prince Money, now that I know what it means, man. Yeah. That's that's a dope name. Now, how'd you get your start in music, doing doing the things that you do? Yeah, the music, actually, I was I was born in a music family. Okay. My dad's a musician, my uncle's a musician, you know, and I just pick it up like this. Before I started music, I was a dancer. You was a dancer? Wow. I was a dancer, yeah. Okay. I like a, not a dancer, stripper. Right. No, <laughs> No yeah, because dance. I was, I was, you know, I do so many stuff people don't know, you know. I'd never sit down and tell people and stuff, you know. I was right. dancer. I'm a writer, book writer. Oh, I, okay. paint, I used to be a teacher. I keep painting teachers and stuff like this. Like a like an art teacher. Yeah, art teacher. Okay. Yeah, because I went to school. Like it was them A N E I got E D C uh, E D E School of Art. E D E E D E. And that's in the Ivory Coast. No. Edex School of Art and Music. Where is that at? It's very far away. Not even this thing. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, is it is it like a number one school of art in the Ivory Coast and stuff? And there are some in Norway too. So it's like oh, a okay. real big, like international place. You know, where everybody from different country come out there. Yeah, you like a movies, like a kind of movie. Yeah, you do everything: theatrical, painting, movies. I mean, it's. Yeah, you yeah. meet all kind of people from different countries. Right, right. Yeah. You wear a lot of hats, then. You wear a lot of hats. Yeah, that's what we call it out here. You have, yeah. right? You wear a lot of hats. You do a lot of mm -hmm. different things. It was yeah. very, like, you know, very blessed to be a graduate for that. You know, I got, I'm a graduate for anthropology of art. Okay. Wow. Uh, okay. I like that. I yeah. like that. So, music is—is is that your ultimate passion? Is that something that that just kind of took place over the art? How did you? Yeah, because uh, you know, just one day, okay, my dad was, my dad was there, say, you know, why are you dancing good, and why not doing music? Because you write a Roman music for some people. Yeah, man, yeah. Then, then I'm not doing it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm more like a dancing stuff. You know, but I just you know one day I would just kind of play around a little bit. But I said, you dancing, and they got music. If you put together, you're gonna be powerful. Yeah. So I decided to do that. And, that's it. And you're powerful. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how long? How long did you wait before you made the transi uh, transition from dancing to doing the music? Yeah, the thing, you know, I mean, I, I just because I was young. The reason my dad don't want to push me too much in the music business because as me as young, he want me to be focused on whatever I'm doing for dancing first. Yeah, because music business, when you get in, you have to have real like your mind. You know what I mean? Like I see a lot of young people today, they just do a music. Is 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 music is 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 not something. It's not a joke. Some people yeah. take as whatever. You know, like a, where I listen, I listen like a Marvin Gaye. Sometimes I listen Bob Marley. I listen different kind. And yeah, because they got some click, you listen in the music. You want to the message people's giving it. Yeah. I mean, these days there's no more message now. I just feel like the music don't make anything no more these days <laughs> yeah that's why my dad didn't push me because he knows my mind is too fresh and if he push me in music business and when i get to 20 i'm gonna be dumb and i'm ne I, I'm, I'm gonna just lose focus yeah so that's why i say you know just start with a dance and now when you, your mind start working as a, like a man or whatever you know how to do some stuff and now you put yourself in the music because a, a music is demanding you know, yeah. traveling, going here, do this one, doing that one. Your your mind's all gonna be if you don't be be careful. Your head, your career gonna be stopped in a minute. Yeah. So yeah, that's why you know you want me to be mature first before I just put myself into. So when I write my stuff, I know what I'm writing for. You know, not somebody gonna write for me. You know, I prefer you prefer me write my own stuff. So I'm feeling it when I'm singing it. Right. Yeah. So that's why you didn't 
give me like a too much and you know you can do a music when you kid when you kid what type of music you gonna write for me I'm 30 year old where I'm gonna I, I can listen to a kid 18 year old what, right. you gonna, what, what, what message are you gonna give it to me <laughs> right yeah. who uh, who are some of your uh, musical influences oh my musical friend when I start I'm gonna say shampoo yeah, because I worked with him before. Sean Paul, yeah. uh, when I, when just I, give me the light. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I mean, the time was as if, because when I moved here in this, like, a, a state, I met him. He had like, cancer, and, you know, I mean, people say, oh, I got, like, a wonder guy. I say, look, at, they got somebody coming in this town. That was, like, in Chicago. He said, somebody coming in this town. He's a new artist. He's cool, you know what I mean? But the way he talk, he talk like you. No, no one understand you guys. I mean, you yeah. guys only want to understand each other. <laughs> so I said, okay, let me check it out. So he put the music, like a song, like a Don't give it a lie. That's yeah. the first time I would listen to it. Said, yeah, I like that. You know, I, yeah, I like that. So, yeah, exactly. So yeah, he said, yeah, you're looking for somebody to open. He says, you know, you guys the same style and you know, the same thing. So you know, what I mean, I just say, okay, let me do that. So he just come out there and we I met him. You know, we just talk. I met like his brother zigzag. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I met his, his manager Steve and I'm old school. So I went to turn, come to the stage, you know what I mean? Do my thing. The time I know, the whole crowd got crazy. Oh, yeah. And when you come in, the talk was him. Yeah. It was me. Right. But yeah, because, just listening to yeah, you guys listen to me. Access. The talk was me. So, so similar. Like, what the hell is this guy <laughs> yeah. coming from? But you guys are, you, you, you're from different areas. He's, he's Jamaican, correct? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you're, and you're from the Ivory Coast, which is like we was talking about earlier. I mean, we same thing. Africa, yeah, correct? you know, yeah. we same thing. Like a Jamaican people, they're Africans. Yeah. They're Africans. Yeah. Jamaica, Ivory Coast, take them to Af Africa, to Jamaica. Right, okay. okay. So we all Africans. So you all mm -hmm. Africans. Yeah, same culture, just, nothing changed. Yeah. You see, they they wear them, the vibe of a difference. Right, okay. Taking okay. the world change. That's and it's all. and it's all like your 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 languages are all like French derived, correct? Exactly. Okay. okay. Is that yeah. what they speak in the Ivory Coast? They speak, they speak French. Huh? French, French, English, and Spanish. Okay. Yeah. See, yeah, I knew that part. Well, that we have uh, we have Prince. Ma here, and here's one of his songs that you can uh, download. You can also get the whole album and more. We'll be back. Yeah. Bless them, I'm in love, just love it like I enjoy keep it. He's a freaking weekend, but the girl looks sexy. Beat the dance floor, then move the body slowly. Bringing up and some fun, they're looking not so crazy. Hello, hello, hello. Living a crazy life. We live in a living, 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 living a crazy life. We live in a crazy life. We live in a crazy life. We live in a living, 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 living a crazy life. We live in a crazy life. Hey, 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 I and I, everybody drinking a chop and I say so. We don't care what the people think. Go, DJ play my music, don't stop, don't stop music, don't stop. Gotta get it, get it. Are you ready? Everybody, are you ready? DJ, are you ready? Let go now, let go now, let go me and say let go now, let go now, let go now, let go me and say let go now, let go now, let go now, let go me and say let go now, let go now, let go now, let go me and say let go. Break it down. Hey, 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 Stop! 
Tell him if you drink Stop Jaeger like that, you gotta be living the crazy. Oh, life. I drink a ton of Jaeger. Yeah, we know crazy Jay. <laughs> we know you living the crazy. Life. <laughs> yeah, you gotta live up to the name somehow. And somehow, man. <laughs> I've been around you. I know how you get. Down you on haven't. The you haven't seen me full on drunk. I can't wait to get you. <laughs> Halloween. Up. The Halloween, Halloween party. Man. Yeah, he's gonna. He was showing me pictures of him at the Halloween party. It was not a picture that he showed me where he didn't have a cup in his hand. <laughs> a red cup. Could be a red um, cup, clear cup, bottle, doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what has alcohol in it? You know, it could be a shoe. You know? <laughs> I am drinking from my shoe. See what oh, I'm saying? Do you I understand? That's crazy J Bird, right? Not here at the, uh, the Halloween party. They, uh, some friends of mine years ago when we were uh, in college, they created this thing called Desert Fest. And we'd go out into the bar, so desert. And it was the same spot every year, and we'd just go out and we'd get bands to play and over the years it grew we did this for 23 24 years that's I mean, a long it, college career you have no there. but i mean after i mean after <laughs> that i mean we just kept going and just we the the bands got bigger and bigger and uh we went out there and uh one time uh a buddy of mine took my shoe and you don't want to walk around out there without no shoes because they got little prickly things in the sand and all that stuff so he took my shoe, and I was like, man, give that back. And he's like, what would you do? I go, I'll do anything. Just give me my shoe back. He goes, would you drink Captain and Coke out of your shoe? Oh, God. And I said, yes, I do. Because I needed that shoe. So they made, of me, a, course you they made me a Captain and Coke. And uh, then my friend goes to give it to me. He goes, wait a minute. We can't do this. This is kind of cruel. And I'm all, thank you. He goes, we need to put ice in it. He's wore that thing all day. <laughs> <laughs> they did just about everything except for squeeze the little Dr. Scholl thing and get the extra flavor out of it. So I took one drink of it, and I was like, I'm going to get athlete's mouth or something. And I took that shoe, and I threw it in the fire, and it ignited. So all that for nothing. So Damn, There is a, pic- there is a picture of me drinking out of my shoe, and it's dripping out of the side of my mouth. It's not a proud moment, J-bird. but it's happened. You, what the fuck? What haven't you done, bro? <laughs> have you ever had a threesome with you and some one of your buddies? No, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> well, as far as I know, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, Prince of Mai, you got to answer the question of the day, man. Threesomes, yes or no? In a relationship, threesomes, yes or no? Threesome? Yeah, if you're yeah. involved Menage with somebody. Menage yeah, Menage <laughs> So if you're in a, if you're in a relationship, do you have one? So yes I'm or saying, no? do you have one? Yes or no? Would you would you and your I mean, girl just, sleep with another female? I mean, just a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so you've had a, you had a couple Europe, of not here, not here. You had it done. Yeah, do over that. in Europe. It's yeah, accepted. Europe is is illegal. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, everybody do that. Right? Really? Is that right? Yeah. Are you gonna move, Darius? Yeah, I think I will. I think, but I mean, I feel like fuck. I live in Vegas anyway. I've had threesomes before. I was not in the, not while I was in a relationship, but I've had. Well, oh yeah, I did have a threesome in a relationship one time. Now that I think about it. <laughs> and how that how that work out? No, I mean like. Apparently, you're not with her. No, I'm not with her. <laughs> but I'm not with her because we had a threesome. Like she. Enjoyed it. We had we she got yeah. a little freaky. Tried to put a finger oh, in your butt. Yo, no, 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 <laughs> no. I had one girl try to put her finger in my ass, and I punched her in the face. I'm not even gonna lie. We were sexing each other, and it was like force of habit. Like boop boop. Like it was just it was that fast. Like no way you did not just stick your finger in my ass. <laughs> Yeah, you have to get a pleasure. All oh, these things, the power of Oh, what's that? When they say, come, come with it. Oh, package. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> no, fuck that. You, like the airline, they sell you the whole package, hotel room. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The, the flight, the room, yeah. the drinks. No, so, fuck so, that. So they manage to come with all these things. So it's all Yo, these things don't touch. touch yeah. Yo, I feel like this. If if we having sex, do not touch my ass. <laughs> my ass is completely off limits. Act like it's caution tape around there. 
police standing outside <laughs> but with big it? ass AK forty seven. That was one of your no, questions. No, of the day. I, and I told you on the question of the day, yo, do don't lick my ass, don't <laughs> poke my ass, don't squeeze my ass, yo. Wow. We yo, gotta, I am yo. We I, gotta take a break. What? We'll be right back. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. I'm here to tell you about Juan's Flaming Fajitas and Cantina, the best Mexican restaurant in all of Las Vegas. Located at 9640 West Tropicana. 